Now, from WPTV, Florida's top-rated television station, this is News Channel 5 at 11. Florida has plenty of sunshine and wasn't enough to clear us off the Forbes list of miserable cities in America. The West Palm, Boca Raton area was ranked eighth on the list that blames the current housing crisis. Home values dropped 39 percent in the past three years and expected to fall even lower. When will our local housing market bounce back? It's what realtors and homeowners alike are trying to figure out. There are signs of hope. But rising interest rates and other factors even out the optimism. News Channel 5's Mike Trim breaks down where homes are selling the most in our area and what experts say can keep those sales on the way up. Hector Rivera has three jobs. He's an attorney, a father of two, and his third job, searching for the right home to buy. It's confusing, as my mindset. I don't know if the right time is now as a buyer, because if I get something, is it going to keep going lower? And am I automatically just losing value, or is it a good time? It's easy to understand Rivera's frustration. He's been searching for a year. He has good credit, good source of income, but says banks aren't quick to deal out great mortgage rates. That's almost a reversal of how some banks operated two years ago, just before the housing market bubble burst. Realtor Sean Underwood says interest rates are slowly climbing, and he says potential home buyers should act now. It is a great time to buy uh, because not only are the market values of today at an all-time low for the time, that the interest rates are now stable enough to buy and stay at, at a what we consider a low point as well. Underwood points out a few trends that show our local housing market is gaining traction. Big cash investors are back, sometimes buying a few homes at a time. That lowers the amount of homes in the market, bringing demand up and bringing home values back to where they were a few years ago. That scenario is the stabilizing of the market experts are looking for. Also, new figures last week show Florida is out of the top five states for foreclosures. Sounds like great news, but housing market expert Sherry Olofsson says the robo-signer debacle clouds those positive numbers. It's not a coincidence. Those files are being, the, the cases were stopped, the files were physically transferred to new offices, and in many cases the, ca the, the foreclosure cases are either being dropped or they're being seriously re-examined by law firms who have literally thousands of these files now, and they will move forward in the near future. In the meantime, though, those homes are just deteriorating even further. Opinions aside, homes are selling in some neighborhoods. We broke down home sales by zip code, and here's two hot zones. West Palm Beach's 33401 saw a big jump. 175 more homes were sold from 09 to 2010. That's a 49% increase. Lake Worth's 33460 zip code also saw more homes sold. 107 to be exact, from 09 to 2010, an increase of about 38%. When we asked the Realtor Association of the Palm Beaches why those zip codes stood out, there wasn't an exact answer. But most experts agree Florida could bounce back soon. Great weather and beaches, reasons people have always bought homes here, could bring buyers back. The hot zones that we identified in this story weren't the only places homes are selling. For a complete list of Palm Beach County and Treasure Coast home sale hot zones by zip code, go to WPTV.com and click on the link for my story. I'm Mike Tram for WPTV News Channel 5. Steve Weagle joining us now with a look at whether you're going to have beach weather tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. but